everybody welcome back to x242 youtube channel uh, again my name is keith and i'm here today with another jewel uh this one is very interesting i don't know if the title caught you or if you're just checking out the next episode but this one is very interesting it's who does christ pray for christ only prays for specific people he doesn't pray for everyone and while that sounds extremely unchristian and actually kind of crazy we want to check out a jewel from the most famous uh most well known the Prince of Preachers, uh, Charles Spurgeon. So let's check out this jewel. So Charles Spurgeon, like I said in the intro, that his um he was kind of nicknamed the Prince of Preachers. He was unbelievably relentless preaching the gospel. Um, he was a powerhouse. So in this sermon, the key scripture was John 17 and 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. And this was Christ praying to the Father. So in this sermon, he starts off and he says, Christ's prayer was for a special people. This prayer, if you're not familiar with the prayer in John 17, you have to go read it. Okay, it's, it's a phenomenal prayer. Um, and it actually, there's so much doctrine and so much understanding found within the prayer itself. So he says, but Christ's prayer was for a special people. He declared that he did not offer a universal intercession. He declared that he was not interceding or pleading with the Father for everyone universally. He wasn't praying for everyone. He wasn't, you know, before God saying, God, please forgive the whole world, do this, that, and the other for them. He wasn't doing that. He was only praying for certain people. And that seems crazy, but let's, let's keep listening. He said, in quotes, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. So basically, he's quoting Christ praying to the Father, saying, look, I only pray for them, that special people. I don't pray for the world, but I pray for the ones you gave me because they are yours. I only pray for your children. I only pay, pray for those that are yours. In reading this beautiful prayer through, only one question arises to our minds. Who are the people that are described as them or as they? Who are these favored individuals who share a Savior's prayer, are recognized by a Savior's love, have their names written on the stones of his precious breastplate, have their characters and their circumstances mentioned by the lips of the high priest before the throne on high? To answer that question is supplied by the words of our text. The people for whom Christ prays are an unearthly people. They are not of this world. There are people somewhat above the world, distinguished altogether from it. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. We're going we're gonna to stop there. He does go on to say he's going to deal with this text doctrinally and then experimentally and then practically. So he kind of breaks down this idea, you know, kind of three different ways. But we're going to stop there. That's, in essence, the jewel for the moment, right? The jewel for the day. Christ's prayers are for a certain people. So A, we should want to know who that is and we should want to be those people. And B, if you are those people, if, if you have faith and you have confidence that you are this quality and this class of person that Christ prays for, you are in this body of Christ in which he loves and intercedes for daily, then you should have the utmost confidence going forward. You should have the utmost confidence in life, whether it be sickness, whether it be finance, whatever it may be, you should have an overwhelming confidence that these Savior's lips utter your name, that your circumstances are, are spoken of on behalf of you before the throne of God. Like this is a phenomenal thought to imagine. And we, I think it's something we take lightly. Um, so don't take it lightly. In, in later episodes, we might get into how you are not of the world. What makes you an unearthly people? What makes you not of this world? And it's not pseudo religious, pseudo spiritual nonsense. I'm just above everyone. It's not how you dress. It's not, you know, the title deacon or pastor. It's, it's none of these superficial carnal things. And, and he actually digs in and breaks this stuff down to how people are kind of pseudo spiritual. Um, so anyway, and it's, that's not the class of people that he's talking about. So later we're going to come back and ask, what does not of this world mean? Who, who are the people that are not of this world? But that's for another jewel. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Again, check out acts242.com for our podcast, for our other videos, for our digital content, whether it be charts or teachings on different things. Um, just whatever can benefit you. It's all there. Let us know in the comments how you like this. Let us know what you think, how this impacted you. Um, and if you like this jewel for the day, give us a thumbs up. All right. Thanks, guys. And uh, stay tuned for the next jewel.